Hi, my name is Jake, and this is a tutorial on how to create a simple search engine in PHP. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you've already got set up a um, your own web server. I'm using MAMP. If you're using Windows, you can use ZAMP, Z-A-M-P-P, -P, um, and the same applies for Linux. Um, so you know, I'll just assume you've got that set up and running. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to work from the folder search, which is um, the child of sandbox, so it's sandbox search, the same applies up here. Currently, I've got my results page, um, it's a PHP page, I need an index page. Um, the index page will automatically load when the folder is loaded. Um, this is general throughout programming um, to have your index.php page as your master page. So we go ahead and we create an index page, we save that as index.php, as simple as that. And we refresh, this should all disappear um, with some white space. Yeah, so it has actually loaded the index page, there's nothing in there. So, just to make sure that it is definitely there, we load a h1 tag, which is a paragraph, and we say hello. And we refresh, yep, it's worked. Okay, so if you um, if you use an IDE or if you use Sublime Text like I do, you can um, use certain. Um, plugins or tricks to um, add in your HTML. So if you're using Sublime, a quick trick to add HTML is simply type the word HTML and then press tab and it will put it all in for you. Um, so this index page, you want to call it the search engine. So if we save that, it's our title tag. I just want to refresh the page and it will set the title as the search engine. Now, in order to um, to create a search engine, we need a, a, a front face, um, just like Google. So we need a place for someone to be able to type to be able to get results back. So to do this, we need to use a form tag. Um, to do this, we just type form with a um, less than and a method and a action. Um, just to go through these and close the form tag like that. So our method, um, we can either use get or we can use post. Now there's advantages to both, um, and there's a reason for each. Um, when you use post, this is generally for sensitive information, such as passwords. Um, I'll show you why, um, what the difference is between the two. So let's say this is our home page, index.php. If you were to use get um, and were to post that information, it would look something like this. Um, whereas if we were to use post, it would get rid of it completely. Now, if you were to create a search engine that you want to be able to share with people, um, it's a lot easier to be able to say, um, to be able to copy your link and send that to somebody. Whereas if we were to use post, you would just be sent back to the home page. Um, so in our search engine, we're going to use get. And the action is the place we want to send the information to, which is results.php, this page here, um, and we also need to add between those form tags a text field. So input, give it a type, um, you can select many different types, email, password, um, just basic text for this, and a name. So when we pass the information to the results page, it needs to have a name, so we'll call it search for now. Um, and lastly, a button. You could have a I'm feeling lucky button, um, but just for the sake of simplicity, we'll call it search and just have this one submit button. You can set the type to reset or submit. Um, quite obvious what both of those do. Um, so we want submit. Now, so if we go back to the page and refresh, we've got our very, um, very search engine front pet page there. Not as nice looking as Google, but it's It'll do for now. So we want to search for something now. So let's say we want to search for Apple. We brought up the get. So let's put it, put the um, query inside, uh, the variable inside of the address bar. But obviously there's nothing yet in our results page. Um, so let's add a label to this just to give it a bit of a better look. And let's say. Um, what would you like to search for? Now this website 
um, this search engine is going to be a web search engine um, rather than a product search engine. Um, so much like Google, it just brings up links to other websites um, rather than products. So if we create some PHP opening and PHP close, which is like this, in our results page, we can now use echo, which basically echoes out to what we want it to say. And in between two um, double quotes, we just say, you are looking for, and then we do what's called concatenation, which allows us to add a variable onto this arbitrary text we just had it added here. So we do dollar underscore get, because it's a get variable, um, two curly braces, and then single quotations, and whatever the name was of the search, sort of search there. And then semicolon, just to close that off, so that the uh, script knows when to stop. So we save that, and then we go back, and then we refresh, and we say Microsoft this time, search. You were looking for Microsoft, so it works like that. So you could have this as, if you were to really beef up your search engine, you could have, did you mean, if you have no results, um, you can use it in a million different ways. Okay, so now that we've got the um, front page working, we need to add in a little bit of logic into the back. So what we need to do is, here I've got set up um, my MySQL um, connection to my database. So now um, what you want to do is create a new table in your MySQL database. I've already created mine, I'll call it Sandbox Search, and I want to create um, a table called Items and give it three columns. Okay, so first you want to create what's known as an auto-increment auto um, integer, and basically every time a new link is added to your database, it goes up by one. So you would have Google uh, with an ID of one, ID, um, Apple ID2, etc, etc. This just keeps it um, a better structure to the database, basically. Um, and then we have a title, so whatever you would like to call your um, the link. So we'll say uh, this is 60 characters long. And then the URL. This can also be a varchar. Um, notice that these two varchars, this is an integer, integer basically a number, varchars text, um, and numbers actually, uh, very, it can vary, um, and this can be 120, often you can get quite long URLs. Um, so if we insert one here, we'll just say um, cloud hosted as the title, and the link to that website is cloudhosted.co. We'll save that. Um, when we look at it, notice that the ID is automatically set. So if we insert another one um, and say this is apple, http, apple.com. Save that. Notice this is, has an ID of 2. So now if we go back to our results page, um, basically what we want to do now is when we post information from one page to another, we want to be able to stop anyone from writing anything malicious, um, not like swearing but um, writing bits of code that can disrupt or hack into your system. So what we want to do is create a new variable. So you always use a dollar sign in PHP to create the variable. Um, and we can call this variable um, clean. We can clean the variable. And then we have MySQL uh, real escape string. So basically what this does, it takes any code or any um, special characters that, that the database might think is a command and it takes it back down to um, to nothing so it can't be used maliciously um, and we want to use that for our get variable which is get and the name is search so we can search like that so that's just a way to protect the database from being hacked into um, which is called a SQL injection 
So now what we want to do is create another one. We want to call it query. Oh, it doesn't matter what you call it. Call it hello. Um, we tend to name them um, specifically so that you can, when you go back and work on it again, you know exactly what the variable relates to. But for this tutorial, just to show you that you can put it to whatever you want. Um, so what we want to do is we want to do a MySQL query. Okay. And then what we want to do is select um, all, which is a star, um, select all from, and then what database, so items, where, um, we'll say the title, title is equal to clean. So instead of using this, instead of putting that in there, use clean because it's clean the variable from it hacking our database. So clean, and we put that into single quotes. Remember that. Um, often if you forget that out it doesn't work and you can't figure out why. And then if it doesn't work we want to do or die and then we want to have the error. So you want to know what it is. It usually comes back with the password's wrong, the username's wrong, the database um, it can't connect, something like that. Um, next what we want to do is an if statement. So we're saying if um, and my SQL number of rows so basically we're saying if, if the number of rows is um, minus the hello if it's the query is equal or greater than one so that's wrong around greater or equal to one we get that data else you know, if, it, if it doesn't get any results we'll say echo no results found. Sorry. And then we add a semicolon to to say to end that um, bit of PHP. You do this for all of them, all of the um, statements. So any variables, makes this appear. And um, so we will just save that. And then what we will do is because um, the information we've got three columns here. Um, if we were to re return the information, it will be returned as what's known as an array. Um, an array is bits of information that's held in one variable. Um, it's more than one. Um, a normal variable holds just one bit of information. So, for example, um, a variable holds the word hello. But an array can hold um, multiple. So, name is equal to hello. Age. What you call. So basically, you can put lots of different bits of information in an array, which is a bigger version of a variable, really. Um, and that's what we're returning. We're returning an array because it contains our ID, our title, and our URL. So we do a while statement, which basically prints it all out or gets all of the um, items from the array. So we can do while i is equal to my sequel and then we fetch that array um the hello array yeah and then two curly braces we can echo out a link like so So then we can add in, um, so this is basically just arbitrary text for the moment. If we do add in two more single quotes and then concatenate, so we basically, this is a piece of text, concatenate and then I, and then this is an array, so I URL, because we're saying that the link is the URL and then concatenate and then back to arbitrary text again um, and now in this section the same so we do concatenate i and then two brackets and we'll say title and we save that let's try it out hopefully it'll work so let's search for apple we say Apple search. Now we brought back Apple and that will link to 
the Apple website, which is what we've got set up here. Now, if we were to add another column, um, just to make sure that we know it works properly, um, we can add in a new column and say um, description of our char of 200 characters. You can only have 255, I believe. Um, so if you want to use anything more, if you want to use text or um, blob to have more information. So if we add in a little bit of information about Apple, um, a little bit of information, whatever you want it to be, we can then print that out as well. So here we have I and then whatever that description so that's our new table so if we were to refresh this page that we have our thing there we can also have in a link to show that where it actually goes a little bit like Google does so you are um, actually um, but you can see that you can put all the information that you need in there now we were to create a duplicate um, record so we say Apple again and this time it's going to be apple.com forward slash UK and Apple in the UK we can go and if we were to go back and search for Apple again We've got them both now, so one leads to Apple UK and the first one leads to Apple.com. Um, so this allows you to have multiple um, items in your database. Now with Search Cloud Hosted, we have our link, but obviously there's no text there. Within our database, there's no description. Um, if we add a description and then refresh, yeah, our description in that there. And now we should tag in something that isn't there, so let's say Microsoft and search. We get our error message, which is this. Like that. Um, and you can spruce this page up quite a little bit, uh, quite a lot, adding some CSS to make it look nicer. Um, and you can add in some more um, items or fields um, to have a bit more description um, or link it into your, your already created projects. Um, it's quite easy with just two pages and your database. I, uh, I hope this helps. If you have any feedback or comments, I'm more than happy to read them. Uh, thank you very much.